Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode of Level M Diecast bringing you Matchbox action today. Uh, we are covering some Hitch and Hall for 2023. Now, there's a little bit of confusion. These these may technically be 2024. You'll see that the 70th anniversary logo has gone away. Uh, this is a would have been a carry forward model. This one did come out earlier this year with the 70th anniversary logo on the card. Uh, same with this one as well. This one had the 70th anniversary card on it as well. See, the 70th anniversary logo is gone. So I'm assuming these are probably for 2024. Uh, this one is new. Uh, this one uh, just recently popped up. Uh, haven't seen this one before. There was a construction one earlier this year that did come with the tipper and then uh, kind of a dump trailer. Still looking for that one. Uh, have not found that one yet, but uh, this is the new construction version one. So no 70th anniversary logo on there, so uh, these are probably 2024, so I guess for now we're just going to call them 2023s. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but uh, pick these up from O'Reilly's because it is impossible to find Hitch and Hall anywhere else. First one we're going to take a look at, this is the uh, MBX Fire Rescue set. This comes with the Hazard Squad and the MBX Mobile Light Truck. You get two vehicles, uh, they do, you can tow the light. Uh, vehicle here so it still fits your hitch and haul does come with a few of accessories um, we've talked about hitch and haul a little bit previously um, how matchbox has definitely been pumping money into this particular line although uh, its availability is still non-existent um, but they've been pumping money into it and i'll tell you what i mean here in just one second we'll get all the pieces out of here get that out of here and then there is a sign in the back Get that out of here, get the packaging out of the studio. All right, so there is the sign. It says Technical Institute, Matchbox Technical Institute, Jobs Training, Education. A little bit of foliage at the bottom. That is a big sticker on there. Actually, that's printed. Oh, very nice. It is uh, very interesting. That is printed. Well, that definitely goes towards the, uh, you know, putting some money into the line. It's very interesting to find that that is sticker, or that is a print, not a sticker. Um, this is what I'm talking about, though. This is the accessory here. Now, this is all plastic, but look at the detail. Um, in the original, well, the hitch and all that we've gotten in the past few years, this would have just been one color. If they had this mold, it would have just been one solid color. Uh, but this has actually been painted up, so you do have your fire hydrant, the hose that goes all the way to the two firemen. Each fireman is painted up as well. Even their boots are painted. The hose is painted as well. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So this is definitely what I'm talking about where they're definitely putting uh, more money into this line. Uh, whether or not it's actually going to show up at standard retail is is kind of up for debate. Uh, these normally would retail for about four to five bucks typically, but uh, picking them up from O'Reilly's Auto Parts like I did, they are $6.50 each, so they're a little expensive. Just two basic construction signs. They are just one piece. Nothing fancy with these. They don't have a little piece in the middle. Sometimes they have a piece in the middle just to keep them open. But uh, these are just solid orange. You get two of those. Oop. Very small. You get two of those. So two of those construction signs, which is pretty nice. This is your Hazard Squad. This does uh, continue on a deco theme that started uh, earlier this year. We've seen a couple ambulances with this deco. We also saw the convoy fire truck with this deco. This looks fantastic, though. This is a modified version of this casting yet again. This casting has been modified several times. You see here on the base, 2009 when it was new, 2014, and then 2022. In 2014, that is when it went from a uh, partially metal body uh, to all plastic. And then this is the newest iteration right here that does include the tow hitch. That is part of the base part there, so that hitch is, is metal, so that's pretty nice. That is the most current um, modification to this casting, but the rest of it is pretty straightforward. Like I said, this casting used to be multi-piece, a little bit more metal on it as well. Unfortunately, that has gone away. This is just a generic deco, by the way, but that looks pretty good. This casting is very interesting. This casting's been around since about 2002. Um, if you look at the base, though, it is 2022. So it is a new copyright date, but still retains its original man number, which was 548. So they must have uh, significantly changed something with this. This is an interesting uh, thing. It's a mobile light truck, which is fine and dandy, but 
it's it's kind of interesting in the way it works. You know, typically when you boom out with something, uh, the extension boom is on the inside. This one is on the outside. So when you extend this boom out, um, it's actually the outside that extends versus the inside. It's it's very very interesting. Um, it does go up pretty good though. That looks okay. Um, it will stand up a little bit straight. There we go. You just gotta mess with the plastic a little bit. There you go. It's a relatively ugly generic casting. Um, it's got a seat and stuff in there, which is just really, really weird. I find that to be very, very peculiarly odd, odd for sure. Uh, but the deco looks pretty good on the side. It does have the uh, super fast construction wheel. That wheel looks good on this one. No uh, chrome base or anything like that. And of course, it just folds down. It did not lose any of its um, functionality uh, for whatever reason for the brand new copyright date. Uh, but basically what would happen is uh, you would just be able to put it right there on the hitch. Let's see if it goes on the hitch. There you go. And uh, you could tow this around with your hazard squad. So it works. Uh, it stays on there. It is at a very good height that uh, it's not going to fall off. But uh, kind of interesting. That light apparatus is like 10 times bigger than the uh, hazard squad, which is interesting. So we'll get that one to the side. We'll move on to our next one. This one is MBK or MBX Farm Life. This is the Dirt Destroyer. Yes, that is the name it's always had. And the Matchbox Farm Trailer. So we did Royal Working Rigs just the other day, 2024 Working Rigs. Um, that Crop Sprayer had the exact same logo on there. So it looks like all their farm equipment is going to start with this logo. I really, really like the fact that Matchbox is putting... Um, Reoccurring decos across several lines. Um, hopefully that continues moving forward. I really like that a lot. I think it's a cool addition. This one has a lot more accessories with it. So we'll just get all the accessories out. We'll get our models out of here. Uh, nothing seems to be necessarily like snapped into the plastic, which is always a uh, always a frustration on, on my part. Everything pretty much just sets in the plastic. So we'll get that out of here. So you do get a little bit of a fence section, uh, which is green, which is part of like a little bit of grass on the bottom or something like that. But uh, very small, very rudimentary, nothing fancy with that. You do get a bull, all black bull. There's no print on this one. Does have a pretty menacing stance though. He's about to attack for sure. So you better put your uh, better put your red flags away. You don't want him to be charging the red flags. You get a cow. That looks pretty cool. There's just a little bit of like a goldish brown kind of paint across it. You can tell it's just this is real quick paint, uh, you know, running through a machine. It just kind of paints both real quick as it rolls through. But, you know, the effort counts. It looks pretty good. You know, they're not going to get the spots on there. At least I wouldn't think they'd get the spots on there. But it stands. It stands pretty good. And, of course, you do get a farmer because, of course, you do. He does have a, a pick, hay pick there. Looks pretty cool. There is a uh, rooster or a chicken, something of that sort. The prints are uh, pretty basic, but he does have a bucket, which looks okay. Um, and a little bit of, you know, two-tone print for the uh, overalls and the t-shirt. And then, of course, he's got a little bit of brown print for that hat on there as well. So, not a not a bad piece. Quite a bit of print to that. So, that's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, what's even more interesting, though, is going to be the actual farm equipment. This is the Dirt Destroyer. Uh, this has been kind of an interesting casting. So this thing has um, this modification type of thing to the base to make it look like it's got quad wheels. So it's got that wheel decoration on each side here uh, to make it look like it's got, you know, double wheels on each axle. It's, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's, if they were the same size as the original tires, um, it might look a little bit better, but it, it just looks weird. It just looks weird in my opinion, but outside of that, this tractor is extremely detailed. There's a ton of detail in there for engine uh, accents and stuff like that. You do have some um, diamond plating on there as well. And then, of course, there is the engine detail. That looks pretty good. Kind of interesting to see that in the back. Not exactly a realistic setup, but it looks pretty good. The blue that you see there is the only thing that's metal. Everything else on this casting is plastic. And then just taking a look at the base deets, uh, 2015, man number 1010. So no changes to this casting from its original version. 
Now this is the hay uh, trailer. This hay trailer has been around for quite a while. It does have uh, removable hay, hay in the bed. Uh, it's all one piece. It's actually solid plastic. It's all solid. Um, it's not hollow or anything like that, but the detail on it looks good. Definitely looks like hay. Uh, if you gave this a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a watercolor brown bath or something, kind of kind of dulled it up a little bit, it would look probably pretty realistic. Uh, but this is the hay trailer. This one has been around for a while too. 2011 Mattel MB829 is the man number. Uh, very, very nice to get some print on the back. So there you go. Operated by Bird Farms. That is exactly the same one that was on the um, crop sprayer from the Rural Working Rigs. So I'm already digging this new uh, new theme that they got going on. The uh, rails around here are, are added on. And then, of course, it does tip. So it doesn't necessarily dump out, but it does tip. Of course, the whole uh, main portion of the base is metal. And then the top is just plastic, which looks pretty good. The hay just throws in there. The trailer hitch, it just sits on the trailer there. And it looks like they actually do test these to make sure they work. Um, that looks pretty good. That looks looks the part. Looks the part. I definitely like that one. So that one is pretty cool. So we'll roll with that one. Get that guy out of here. Get our accessories out of here. All right, moving on to the last one. This is the construction pack. So Matchbox Construction Zone. Uh, this doesn't have anything to tow. It doesn't have anything to haul. Um, I'm not really sure where they're going with this one. Uh, now, I will tell you, if they would have used that uh, cement uh, trailer that uh, they debuted uh, beginning of last year, I think, where they had the, the two color drums on it. If they would have used that one with this this guy here, that would have been perfectly fine. Um, but uh, as far as this goes, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what the purpose of this pack is. Now, I will tell you, starting off, uh, this is the reoccurring Matchbox 70th construction theme. So this continues on. So even though this doesn't necessarily say uh, 70th anniversary on the package or anything like that, that is still the same deco. So this is unit number 24. Um, we will go over all these construction units as soon as we have a, a better grasp on all of them. But uh, unit 24. So hopefully that means that these have been just rolling through. This is the highway maintenance truck. This casting has been around since about 1991, I believe, is when it was new casting. It's been modified a lot over the years. The orange section you see here is the only part that's metal now. Everything else on this entire casting is plastic. Originally, this was a removable uh, plow in the front. You could take it off. Now it's part of the base. It is fixed. There is the deeds here. 2021 Mattel is the last time it was modified. MB954. So this one is good. I like this casting a lot. It does have that tow hitch on there now. So you can't tow stuff with it, although I don't know what you're going to tow with it because this one doesn't come with anything to tow. It does come with this, though. This is the uh, uh, Stripe King. There we go, Road Stripe King. Couldn't remember what the name was. So basically, this is designed to where you could, like, you know, you, you take a pencil or marker or something like that, you put it in the bottom there, or put it in there, um, and it goes through into the bottom, and then you can just drive down the road, and it'll actually write lines. It's, it's a pretty cool gimmick. It's a cool gimmick. It works. I can tell you it works perfectly fine. It's... Um, it's it's definitely thinking outside the box, which I think is super cool. I think the the fact that they just made a road striping truck is just awesome. Just such a cool, cool idea. Um, and this one looks pretty good. Get some extra prints on the front. We haven't had prints on the front of this casting quite yet. There is no interior on this one. I'm not really sure why. It's not like it's got extra pieces or nothing. There's just no interior, which is fine. Nothing with the bottom. And then there is the deets on this side. This is unit number 25. So unit 24 and 25, pulling up the construction equipment. You do get uh, two of those barrier signs. So those two barrier signs are different than these two barrier signs as far as color. Those ones came with the fire set. So two separate colors, which is a little, a little bit of a bummer. A little bit of inconsistency there. Whoop. Take up our, our flagger. There is our guy flagging. Looks pretty good. Maybe he's wearing a mask on there because uh, they're spraying paint, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, it's weird. 
but he's got some reflective like print tape on there and stuff that looks pretty good. Just a yellow flag, nothing fancy with that. A bit of prints on the side. He seems to have like a little little fanny pack or something on the side there. So it's interesting, interesting. So throw him up there. And then of course you got a guy working. This guy is sweeping. He doesn't have a mask or nothing on, so I'm not really sure what he'd be doing, but he's just sweeping. So running a broom. That one kind of deckled up pretty pretty decently as well. Different uh, different get up. He's not wearing as much uh, reflective stuff as the other guy. That guy doesn't have like a base uh, to keep him standing up. So the, the the broom is supposed to stand him up. As you can see, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to stand him up. This is not going to work. And then, of course, you get a ridiculously large, insanely humongous wheelbarrow. Like the largest wheelbarrow I think you've ever seen in your life. Look at the size of this wheelbarrow compared to that truck. Like this wheelbarrow is like two of those dump sections. That's how big this thing is. And of course, none of these figures can do anything with the wheelbarrow, I guess, unless you do that. I mean, look at the size of the wheelbarrow. It's ridiculous. This is this is a, just a, a ridiculous accessory. Everything else we've seen so far is cool, but this that's that just doesn't make any sense. That just does not make any sense. So we're gonna throw these guys up there. We're gonna put our little accessories here in the front. Our little guy here, a couple construction signs. We're gonna put our fire set, which I think the fire set is actually pretty good. I think this one's actually pretty nice. Um, I've always not liked this casting. I think that casting is kind of a uh, kind of kind of kind of junk, uh, but that's just my opinion. Um, but other than that, I think uh, that particular casting is a good version of it. But uh, the tractor one's probably the best. Um, I really feel like Matchbox is probably going to make a bit of a farm push this year. That might be their their new their new deal for uh, 2024 into 2024 is farm stuff. Which I'd be happy with because I'm a bit on a on a farm kick myself. So there you go. That is uh, most all of the latest hitch and haul from Matchbox. Those are pretty cool. I do like those quite a bit. Um, the construction one is very nice for the models. But as far as the cohesiveness of the set, it just doesn't look all that great. But uh, I don't know. You guys drop a comment. Let me know what you think about those. But until next time, we're going to roll on. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Level them, Diecast Peace.